one of the things that is constant in the life of the Lord is his communion with his Abba, his communion with the Father. No matter how hectic are the schedules of the Lord during his public ministry, he will always find time to spend in prayer. That is why in our gospel today, the Lord Jesus went to the mountain to pray and he spent the night in prayer to God. And uh, after his uh, intensive prayer, he called his disciples and from them he, he chose 12 whom he called apostles. This reminds me, my dear brothers and sisters, of an experience one month before my ordination to the priesthood in 2008. I had a chance to go to my spiritual director and he told me straight, Michael, in one month time, you will be ordained a priest. But remember this always. Ordination will make you a priest. But you are still the same person subject to your weaknesses and limitations. You are still the same person so human like the rest, capable of committing sin. And because of this, try to spend every day in prayer. More than 13 years had passed in my priestly ministry. That uh, reminder from my spiritual director continues to echo in my heart. And uh, truly, prayer helps me a lot in my priestly ministry. From 2009 to 2012, when I was in Africa, in Ghana, Africa. Then from 2013 to 2016, when I was studying uh, hospital administration at the University of the Philippines in Manila. Then from 2016 to 2020, as an administrator of Holy Name University Medical Center Incorporated in Tagbilaran City, Bohol, and at present as one of the chaplains here in the university. Prayer is very powerful. Prayer is our strength. And our model for that is no less than the Lord Jesus Christ. During his public ministry, he always spends time in communion with his Abba, with his Father. Secondly, my dear brothers and sisters, our gospel for today is reminding us on the importance of mission. The very reason why the Lord Jesus invites disciples and sent them is for them to share in his redemptive mission. He knew very well that the kingdom of God which he inaugurated will not be over during his public ministry. He needs people to continue this proclamation of the good news of God's kingdom. As Carolinians, you are also called to do the same. One of our battle cries is to be witnesses to the word. To be witnesses to the word who is our Lord Jesus Christ. And make his message incarnate in each one of us. His message of love and forgiveness. 
His message of mercy and compassion. And this we can do from in the very uh, place or area we are in. In the family where we belong, in the community, in our encounter with one another, we are called to be witnesses of the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. In that way, we become God's missionaries. So two things, my dear brothers and sisters, that we are called to reflect in our gospel today. The importance of prayer as a way of grounding ourselves to God, who is the very source of our life. In prayer, we find meaning and fulfillment in our life. In prayer, we find the direction in our life. We are able to discern what God wants us to do in our daily life. And secondly, we are called to share in the mission day, in the mission of God, in the mission of healing and reconciling people, in the mission of showing mercy and compassion to one another. And by this, we become witnesses to the word. We make the life of the Lord our life and his mission our mission. Let us now stand and offer our prayers to the Father.